Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series. This is episode number 61, and today we have the final game of the Barclays Premier League season as we take on Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. Before we play that one, though, going to show you how Swansea have been getting on off camera. So, of course, in the last episode, you saw us exit the Champions League in the first knockout round after our 1-1 draw with Real Madrid. That put us out of the competition on the away goal rule, but then we did respond with a 4-2 victory over Liverpool in the Premier League. I did play a few games off camera, and as you can see, we went on a really, really nice win streak. We first beat Arsenal by two goals to nil, then West Brom by a goal to nil, then Newcastle by three goals to nil, then Southampton by two goals to nil, then Stoke by three goals to nil, and then out of the blue, we had a 3-3 draw against Leicester away at the Kimpao Stadium, so that was, a, that was a bit dodgy, we had such a long win streak in the Premier League as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games in a row, and then that like 3-3 free, free draw just came completely out of the blue, but uh, Esposito did score a hat-trick and that was pretty cool, but uh, then our last game which I played off camera uh, was the first game, or should have been I should say the first game of today's episode, but instead by this point we'd already won the title, so I played off camera, uh, we lost to City by two goals to one at home, they scored a stoppage time winner, just to make sure we now have two games without a win, so in today's episode we had a final game of the season, but of course for us it's meaningless, uh, we won the title by the way, this game right here, 2-0 against Southampton, at the Liberty Stadium, and uh, that was the game that clinched the title for us. So, so you come into the, uh, to the final game of the season, we've got nothing to play for now. Uh, we've won it by 10 points, and uh, it, it just comes down to whether we can win on the final day or not. Um, as you see, Chelsea, though, they're, they're trying to stay in, no, they already got the Europa League by a cup competition, but they can possibly qualify for the Champions League with a win today, and, uh, and that'll be kind of interesting. So they have something to play for, so they'll be surely going for it, all guns blazing at Stamford Bridge. But uh, just kind of funny as well, just before I move on, um, that Southampton game, the 2 0, was the one that clinched the title. And um, whilst I was playing the games on camera and on that win streak, I was experimenting, uh, experimenting with the side, resting players and whatnot. And for Ben Davies and Joe Allen, they both played eight games. So that Southampton game was their ninth one. So as you can see, they, they don't get in their career achievements, despite now playing 10 games, a winner's medal. They, they miss out on one because they didn't get to 10 games. You remember last season, I discussed this, a few of my players didn't get a winner's medal in their honours here, despite playing 10 league games. It's because when you win the title, the honour then gets put on the, uh, the career achievements. So Ben Davies, for example, hitting 11 games now, he will never get one. He won't get a winner's medal. Whereas someone like Patino, for example, he's, uh, well now he's played 12, but uh, he had played 10 at that point, he got a winner's medal, and um, yeah, so those players that reached 10 games before you won the title, they get a winner's medal, but uh, the ones that, uh, that don't, if they if they, if they fall out of uh, you know, reaching 10 games before you win the title, it doesn't matter whether they get to 10 games afterwards, they still won't get one. So for Ben Davies, two years in a row he's played more than 10 games, because he won the title before his 10th, unfortunately he doesn't get one, but um, just, a, just a trivial thing that I thought I'd show you anyway. I think a couple of you guys pointed out and wonder why Davies, for example, has never won a Premier League winner for the last, even though he really should have won. He's a vital member of our side, but not a vital member of our side, anyway. But uh, still, enough narrowing on. Today's episode is against Chelsea, and, uh, and yeah, it's the final one of the season. It means basically nothing for us, but we'll see what we can do. But I do want to say, as I uh, run for the team as well, um, I have been discussing this possibly being our final season uh, in Football Manager World. Do you know what? I'll, I'll discuss that. I'll discuss that towards the end of the episode. So let's just go through the team. Let's get into the game. Um, we're playing 4-4-2. I've switched to a 4-4-2 and it's been doing quite well. Esposito's well, been banging them in. That's great to see. So the change back to the 4-4-2 has worked out for us, really. Uh, Leno starts to go off back four of George, Fabiano, Marlon and Caraman. In midfield, Sisto on the left, Brandt on the right. And in the middle, Pep and also Redmond. Up top to Gamma Barbosa and Esposito. And on the bench, pick with Gomez, Davies, Ben, Casigas and Mares. And also, for the final time, Callum Futter. So, first game of the episode, only game of the episode, we take on Chelsea, away from home, means nothing, let's get it with regardless, come on to So, first time out of the game, we have to wait until the second half to get it, but it does come from Chelsea, right from kickoff, really, after the break, swings it across, and Santi Mina, who scored in the reverse leg at the Liberty Stadium, gives Chelsea a 1-0 lead, again, means nothing for us, but for them, they'll be overtaking Spurs, and going into the top four as things stand. So a good little cross there by the Spanish fullback into the centre, picks out Santi Mina. And I mean, Leno, it, it's not been a good end to season for him, it really hasn't. He did have a good run of clean sheets on camera, I should say. He made a couple of decent saves in those games too, but he's made a couple of, um, well, it just, you know, being, being as near post is something we saw Timo Horn a lot. And 
I didn't want to see with Leno, but that's twice now in two games on camera, one against Real Madrid and now against Chelsea. So 1-0 to the home side. This Kante dancing around one of final wisdom inside the area back towards Kante, getting challenged by Redmond. And as the highlight continues, Chelsea sent to run here. They can possibly get a second, and they could have done as well, but Costa is offside. But still, 1-0 to Chelsea, they have the lead. And not good goalkeeper from Leno, really. And as we come towards the end of the game, we are still trailing by a goal. One final chance, possibly, and it looks like it comes to Chelsea to secure the point. But instead, I've anti-jinxed it, and we could be away here. No, we give it away, and I've jinxed it, actually, as Kante's on the ball. Double jinx, I feel. No, we want it back again. Fabiano to Redmond. Let's just shut up, shall we? Brandt on the ball. Sent Wilson down left-hand side. Off the bench here. Callum Wilson. Can he be clutched one final time? Finds Benzia. Through towards Mares. All three subs linking up here, and Mares could have come off the bench to rest rescue us and give us a point later on. Sandy Algerian did not hit the target and it goes wide of the post. So that should do it then. Final score, Chelsea wants to nil. And just like last season, very interesting to have it happen again in Deja Vu, but just like last season, we're going to lose our final two league games, which is kind of disappointing really. Obviously again, it doesn't really matter too much because we already won the title, but to, to lose both of our league games in the end of the season two years in a row, it's quite disappointing, isn't it? So final score, Chelsea won 20 nil. They get the winner because of that. Move into the top four. I would have certainly told them we weren't good enough. And as you can see, most of them are fired up or motivated. But as you can see, we still were top of the table anyway. It does not matter one bit to us. So final score, 1-0. Uh, we have 35 minutes for that. Very nice to see. Poor old Rio's lost his job. And, um, and yeah, that is a visit Rio. Uh, and then that was that. So, final score then 1 0 Chelsea. Uh, Throwing these times, every uh, table, I should say, ends up looking like this coming into the season. We top of the four points last season, we got to 88. So, four less than last year, and it is worth noting this season. The competition was much stronger last season, we just ran away with it. And in the end, we had the finish towards the end of the game, which was a bit of a But the team last season, if you remember, we were like really 17 points clear at one point this season. It was nothing like that, and it was far tighter. So we win the title anyway. Good to, uh, good to retain it. Back to back titles for Swansea. Uh, City finished second, United finished third. Chelsea do indeed sneak into fourth place. Arsenal dropped to fifth, and Spurs finished in sixth. Look at the last season. Your Spurs fans will be very happy with that. Uh, the renegade sides were Norwich, Middlesbrough, and also the Hammers, and uh, that was our great league. We finished as well. For us this season, it's, it's not a successful year. You know, it's not a successful year. You know, usually year after year, you hear me say, it's been a pretty successful season for us, really, and on the whole, I'm pretty happy. This season, not so much. Don't get me wrong, I'm delighted to have retained that title. It shows that, in my opinion, we are becoming the strongest side in England if we're not there yet. Uh, we're, well, we're making a claim, we're making a claim to be the strongest side uh, as the years go by. But in the other competition, we failed to retain our community shield. We got knocked out by championship opposition Hull City, even though it was very too important. But in the FA Cup, we retained to retain it. We failed to we retain to retain it. We failed to retain it for a third straight year. We got knocked out by Everton in the fifth round of almost reached the final. Didn't even get close. And in the Champions League, we almost reached the quarterfinals. We were knocked out in the first knockout round. It was by Real Madrid to uh, to to, to uh, take the uh, pressure off a little bit from me there to take the away the uh, cruise a bit a little bit. But either way, you know, it didn't reach the quarterfinals, so it, it's not been a successful season. You know, I'm glad we retained the title, but uh, on the whole, a little disappointed. And as we do come towards the end of the season, a few things to show you. Uh, the end of the season awards, Sigurdsson won fans player of the year. Uh, Cisco, of course, won it in the past two years. Now, Sigurdsson gets a return to the most likely player of the year. That was to be honest. Uh, Patino won goal of the season, that's good QPR. Uh, he danced out with three or four players, that's not a big deal. And a nice finish, too. That was also his only goal for the club, too. So, if you're going to score, just want to make it memorable. Uh, Brad was the signing of the season, definitely agree with that, 12.5 million. And Caraman was the young player of the season. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think the fans got that spot on to go. That was a, a good, um, what was it, fans that voted out? I don't know, but uh, still, I think all of those were uh, correct, I would say. So, yeah, a good season in the league, no doubt about that. But it's, uh, it's, 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 it's every other competition quite disappointing, but uh, still. Um, as you can see here, a few of the tips want you to achieve more than can't ever qualification the best game of the season. This one's been found in every expectation by the top of the pilots. I'm likely champion, so yeah, um, it, it, it's, it's not exactly unlikely, it's a little bit, little bit uh, hard to say there, but uh, again, it's just, it's, I, I really don't want to be negative, you know? I really don't want to be negative to end today's episode, but uh, I am quite disappointed in things. I'm very disappointed, to be honest, and uh, I guess the Premier League was nice to win it for a second straight year, but it's still, it's still a little bit disappointing. But still, I think that's probably the only thing I have to show you to end today's episode as well. 
Um, I'm going to passionately say it's been a great season. We've done all three of you. You all done really well the title. Go away and get yourselves a bit of rest now because we're going to do it again next season. Everyone's happy with that. I'm going to passionately tell them that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after, boys. And the uh, voice people are really happy with that. And um, yeah, I can't, I can't think of anything else I need to show you right now. So I think that's probably going to end the episode. Yeah, it's going to go back to seven weeks. Um, give it an extra week's holiday. Um, but but uh, yeah, we'll end the episode there. Um, I, I can't think of anything else I need to show you. Um, I just do want to say real briefly. Um, I, I know that uh, I did say during the season I was considering it making it, considering it making it my final one. We've got about a month left in Field Fury 17, and I've got to be honest here, other than my Rayo Vallecano series, I've got very little to make right now. Uh, there's no point in starting a new series on FM or FIFA, because let's be honest here, I simply won't finish it. So because of that, I think I'm going to keep on going, at least for the time being. I know quite a lot of you guys are beginning to lose interest now, because we've uh, won the title now two years in a row. Uh, that I, I totally do understand that, but um, you know we've only got a month to go until the new game comes out, so because of that, it, it, it will be kind of pointless starting a new series, either on FIFA or Football Manager. So I'll continue for the time being. A few of you guys did say carry on until you win the Champions League. I don't know whether I'll be able to do that or not. I highly doubt it. But what I think I will do is, because of how quickly we can get through seasons in this series, what I think I will do is play through until uh, the 10th season and then that will be our final one. So we'll do 10 seasons with Swansea, and then we'll end it there. And if we win the Champions League before, maybe we'll end it after that, but I don't see that happening, to be honest. So I think we'll just do 10 seasons. This was the seventh. We've got eight, nine, and 10th to come. So that'll be three more seasons, and I think that'll do it for us. So yeah, that went in today's episode then, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And again, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this our seventh season in charge of the Welsh side. Again, not the most successful of seasons here overall, but to retain our league title was very, very nice to see. And it's good to know that, again, we are becoming, I would say, the strongest side in England right now. And I'd like to think, too, that after our 10th season, we would be considered outright the strongest side in the nation. Oh, Barbosa, what's going on, bruv? But uh, still, uh, thanks for watching today's episode. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like. Uh, much like, what, what are you doing, George? Why are you declining? Why do so many of my players decline this season? I mean, I know it's not been our best season, but why are they declining? Like, why are so many of my players declining? I said I didn't want to end on a negative, and this is not making it easy for me. That's more like it. Thank you, Caraman. Why are so many players declining this year? I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I, I can't end like this. I've got to say something nice, for goodness sake. I I I'm ending on a real bad negative, and I don't want to. Um, just, you know, thanks for watching and that. I've been thrown off, haven't I? I, be I, I can't even end it anyway. I, I don't know what to say. Just thanks for watching. I, I love you. I really do. You guys made my life so much better. Thank you. I, I don't even know what to say. Thanks. Leave a like if you want. You don't have to. I just... Oh, that play is declining has ruined my ending.